Yeah, that got it. No way. That got it. That's 12 tau. That's 12 tau. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me get a picture. anymore <laughs> hello and welcome back to another episode of the KDBA channel the Hilux build series season 2 where we twin lock my N70 Hilux and we finally do it we're not wasting no time we're getting straight into it Salim already pulled out his axles he dropped the third member you ready? What are you doing over here now? I'm taking off the dip of the arm. Um, He's prepping the new dip to go in with the locker and the 4.56 gears. Mm -hmm. If you remember in the last video where we actually installed the locker and the gears into the new diff from the 2.7 gas highlight, we, we basically finished that process. Now it's just to swap the rear diff and the front diff into the van and that's basically what we're going to be doing today. Lightweight! <laughs> yeah buddy! Alright, so now I'm going to Salim explain the differences between the stock LSD diff and the diff that we assembled in the previous video. Alright, so firstly it's an LSD, not an LSD differential. All right. LSD means limited slip differential. Right. So what you have inside here is, I don't know if you could see it, you have the side gears inside, mm -hmm. and then there are clutch packs oh. both sides of the side gears. Now, what the lubricant that you use is a, is a, a friction modified gear oil, and that now has um, properties in it that will activate the clutches in the LSD to be able to grab the side gears for the two wheels to spin forward. However, based on the name limited slip, it will still develop some kind of slip in case one wheel is off traction and one wheel is on traction. So that is the downfall of the LSC. However, in your air locker or e locker, whichever one, there is no slip. The two wheels, the two side gears are, are engaged once it is, it is activated, is engaged at all times and will send direct power to both wheels regardless of one on traction or off traction like on a rock step or something like of these of these sorts but if it is just stuck in mud down to your diff locker is not going to help you that's a fyi so yeah so the the center housing is is there's a there's pins located in the center housing to locker uses air to activate the pins to engage the side gears to lock together to the center housing and the center housing now turns and engages the axles. Nice. Only genuine parts. No um, substitutes. <laughs> so I'm just changing his seal, the gasket on the third member. Yeah, third member gasket here. Yeah. Unfortunately, right we ran into a minor setback where the seal housing wasn't getting past the differential housing. Now we were wondering why this was happening because we checked up we literally checked everything but we got on the phone with ARB tech support and they were almost certain that we used the wrong size bearing. Unfortunately the bearing that we used was literally one millimeter thicker than the OEM bearing. So we had to wait until the next day to purchase the correct bearings. Hold hold that. Hold the left. Mm. Alright, I lost the flat that I came in for. <laughs> Surprise guest! Installed in lockers since 2023. <laughs> cool, so everything was done off camera for the front. We already pull out the old front diff, transfer the ADD from that diff to the new diff. This is the new diff inside here with the 4.56 gears and the air locker. With this one, they have one right now. What's going on? Right, so we end up in a slight little problem with the rear locker. Um, so apparently seal housing 
touches on the differential housing a tad bit. Justin, you have any words of wisdom? I can do it for him. I don't know why he don't want to let me do it. <laughs> how much lock is installed in my day. <laughs> and then after we install the, the diff, we have to run the airlines. We have an alarm. Oh, we have these um, ARB air compressor pump up kits for sale right now. Comes with um, a hose and fittings to air up the arm, to air up your tires and stuff. Nice. So, all the compressors, the two compressors here, battery, gun drawer hole, and yeah, we will film it. So we ran the lines from the pumps outside the box, down the tray. But now Salim is routing the front locker. A line over here. And he is trying to figure out where to run it right now. And we have Justin. I'm going to be coaching him and telling him what to do. <laughs> We front locked. By tomorrow we should be rear locked. <laughs> Twin locked. Yeah. I like that locker switch placement, eh? I love it too. I still find it. Yeah, so um unfortunately we had a little incident where we used the wrong size bearing, which was overlooked by me and Mr. David. So a Yukon kit. The Yukon Master Kit comes with a 21.7 millimeter. Bearing? Yeah, to, uh, to about 21.1. Yeah, and um, the ARB requires a 20 millimeter bearing. Or 20.7 or less. Yeah. So that was our problem yesterday. While the sea housing wasn't um, wasn't going into over the diff housing. So now we got the correct bearings from United Bearings. Big shout out to, to Scott from ARB that assisted us with this over the phone. Um, now QDB rules. We replacing the um, bearings up. Yeah, that good day. No way. That good day. That's 12 tau. That's 12 tau? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With Actually, 10 specs. Ryland doesn't approve. <laughs> Bush mechanic much? Only strain here. We have Master Tech Ryland on the scene right now. <laughs> Mr. David, what do you think about that? No, I, I think they're doing a, yeah, a fantastic job and it's beautiful that they Salim pick up the error there by talking to tech support in ARB. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's a lesson learned. How much you getting there? What do you know? I'm going to get you How much is this here? No, 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 like, 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 Se seven toe. You're far from that. Yeah, How much you got? 20. Yeah, yeah, 20. <laughs> that good day. No. That, walk, that walk in right there. What's that? <laughs> You're joking, right? So, after a TDS process of replacing the bearings on the side, on the side bearings on the arm, um, differential center housing um, we finally got the diff in inside without having to nut the housing i'm so happy right now and like i said thanks very much to arb for their technical support mr david for his support um rylan also came through with the bearing puller so yeah it's just to run the airline for the red diff and we we outside yeah we inside <laughs> inside outside hey sorry i'm just here talking let me see um I'll just talk to the bolts. Do break when I tighten in here, please. <laughs> You want 
Yeah, we tested Ellie one time. Don't forget to fill back oil. And tell him. Yeah, make sure the oil, don't get too excited. Fill your oil and we use Bisol products. For a wool in motion, use only the best. All right, so I have Mr. David on the wheel here. <laughs> so he's spinning the, the wheel forward. Yeah. And with an open lift, if you spin the wheel forward, naturally the other side will spin in the opposite direction right all right so i will go inside here all right ignition on now air compressor first rear locker all right so if i come back over by mr david here he's spinning the wheel forward yeah this wheel is also spinning forward it's fully locked fully locked <laughs> Any thoughts on this one, Mr. David? It's fully wonky now. Fully <laughs> wonky? <laughs> yeah. Peanut has got the fully wonky. Yeah. We find, we find our big stone to test the lockers. So you're gonna try and poke on the first. Go ahead. You're spinning. Yeah. So, we are gonna try first? Rear locker? Okay, you gonna try the rear locker now? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's a quick demonstration of how the locker does work. The boat rear wheels are spinning at the same time, so it's not allowing any slip on the wheel that has the least amount of traction, and it got him up this rock. Hold on, let me get a picture. So he gonna try the front locker now. So as you can see, it, it's spinning. And open lift. He gonna lock the rear and the front now. <laughs> it will just go straight up. <laughs> you can go up, go up. Go ahead, go. Go ahead. You far from flipping. <laughs> you real far from flipping. But it will, it will climb straight up. <laughs> nice. That was sick. <laughs> That's totally awesome, man. 